Hi, this is Thunder from borderwork.com and I'll be showing you today how to install Windows 8 developer build onto a Dell Netbook 1012. This is the Dell Netbook 1012, so it's a 10 inch netbook from Dell and um, it's got one gig of uh, memory, it's got an Intel processor, Atom processor. So uh, let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to be using an external DVD drive, which is loud, so you're going to hear that through that. But I'll try and talk over that. And um, so let's go ahead. Turn the DVD drive on. It's right here on the side. Just turn off my Windows uh, 8 DVDs in there. And turn this on. Power on. F12. my boot options quickly plug in my battery at the back so of course it doesn't die during the setup process make sure you have that plugged in and just waiting for this run to go into boot options okay CDRW DVD drive okay this is the first time I'm doing this, so um, you know I'll be timing this to see how long it goes. It's loading files. And throughout this video, I'm probably going to do some jump through cuts if there's any just you know uh, spaces where it's just you know doing the installation. And uh, I'll give you the full time of how long it took me to. Um, install this from scratch as you can see alright Windows developer preview Now the uh, preview disk, uh, which is an ISO file, is about 2.28 gigs for a 32-bit uh, version, which is what I'll be running on this uh, system. All right, it's coming up. So it still looks like a regular Windows uh, setup process, English, US. Next, install now. Setup is starting. Okay, red licensing terms and agreements. Microsoft Windows Developer Preview build as well as sample application for developer preview. Let's hit next. Do I want to upgrade or custom? I'm going to custom here. I'm going to go to Partition 2, Drive Options, of course, Format. Uh, yep, of course, do that. You always want to make sure you want to wipe out that hard drive space or partition it if you want to do a split uh, install but I'm just going to wipe it out completely and next so the the whole uh, installation process development build looks similar to Windows 7 and of course you know that's something that um, might change uh, eventually with the final outlook of uh, Windows 8 just because of the developer build so this, you don't need to change simple things like this on the visual aspect they can go through the process so of course we're going to go through the whole install and now uh, let's see what happens as we go through
try and zoom in here a little closer for you guys so you guys can see that much better. So it's going to take a while here, so I'm most likely just going to jump through at some point in here and, um, you know, speed up the process of the video. Alright, so it's about to reboot. Installation is it's complete. Jump and restart now if I wanted to. Alright, so it's going to restart. Set up the dating registry settings. All right. So it looked like it started there for a second, but I'm not sure what's happening now. Okay, it's preparing. So the device is 7% ready, so I guess it's going to take some time to get the device ready. So we're going to cut through here again. Uh, it's moving a little faster. It's 21%, so we might just stay here for a little bit. Now, of course, this is not an indication of how long Windows 8 will take to set up since it's developer preview and not the final version, so... Always remember that and take notes. But this is just showing you, of course, the steps of how to do that. Alright, device is getting ready at 100%. It's going to be starting the PC one more time. Okay, to be started, let's see where we are. It's going through a lot of steps here, um, you know, now it's preparing before it was getting stuff ready, so we'll see where we are with this, hopefully uh, we can get this started soon enough. Okay, so we are in. And we can turn that off. 
So we do have, we're now in Windows 8, Metro UI look, and um, give your PC a name. Of course, we have to call it uh, Good Sideboard at Work. What's next? It's pretty fluid. Uh, of course, we have a wireless uh, networks here. Connect. characters so I don't have to actually do this off screen connecting to wireless network customize use express settings see what that is enter your favorite email address so you can go online set up your Windows Live ID of course I have to enter my Live ID password don't know why I didn't ask me to do that earlier, but it doesn't make any sense. So creating your account, finalizing your settings. Welcome. Of course, you can see my name there. Preparing your PC. So, as you probably have seen with some of the videos from the build conference, the whole idea is to make this very personal, very fluid UI. And um, <clears throat> of course, you can take a picture of yourself there, as well as uh, use whatever photo you like in, you know customize your desktop experience but anyway as we wait for this to prepare uh, again this is taking a certain amount of time uh, but then again it's developers preview so it's not optimized or anything like that We could have skipped this, but I decided it was best to show you um, how it would look if you were, you know, installing this on your system. And this is taking quite a bit of time, surprisingly, longer than I thought. All right, so we're in. It took a while for it to customize our themes and all that fun stuff, but um, we're actually in. You can see the uh, Metro UI. It's a little sluggish um, on here. Actually, it isn't, so I apologize. It's much easier to go through with the uh, directional pad. So you can see the Metro UI. Uh, this is your traditional desktop. I can switch with the Windows button, or I can actually just, I can actually just click on um, of course, one of the live tiles. If I go to the corner here, I can pull up, of course, um, <clears throat> your Windows um, area again. I don't have to click on anything where I have my settings, devices. Uh, you can see with the Metro UI, there is no clock um, on there, but once you go to the Windows corner there, you actually pull up uh, your of course, time and date. So, of course, you can see the date, time, we're connected to wireless, and things like that. So, let's go into let's go into settings and just see what we have in settings. You see thunder. Of course, this is my Wi-Fi, my notifications, power, English brightness, and volume. So, I can shut down power. And I can go into preferences. Show administrative tools, I said no, clear all notifications, tiles, out of that. So here are some of the um, live tiles you see here. I'm just going to go through. We do have um, Internet Explorer 10, Windows Explorer, of course, your file manager, your control panel, store, social light, which is basically your Facebook plugin, uh, the weather, stocks, Tweetorama, news, Builds. Uh, I can go into the build store right there. Pretty much jump into that tile. See if I can do that.
um, of course, pick stream and a couple more tiles. So, um, from what it seems, I can't actually jump into any tile yet. Um, I can move the tiles around, of course, and customize whichever way I want. But it doesn't seem I can jump to any tiles at this time. Um, let's go into regular desktop. So I can, of course, open IE through my regular Windows desktop. And this is very reminiscent of your regular Windows look. Although now you do have the ribbon chain, uh, which you see with Microsoft Word, is now with the... Um, <clears throat> Is now with the the folders uh, section, so you do have the ribbon um, look right here on the top. Also, let's take a look at the new um, task manager. Of course, Control Delete brings that up. It's no applications running, but uh, let's see. Let's open up Explorer. That should populate in the task manager. If you go to more details, it expands it up, and then you can see the full task manager and see how it looks. Of course, you can go in and kill applications more effectively, see how much memory, disk space, and network it's using, and CPU usage. So it's it's very effective, very clear. Use this Windows button. I can switch over the task manager, also switch over here. Now, in my Metro UI, I still can't access anything. I'm not exactly sure. Well, I can't. Oh, I did access my libraries there. So let's just close that open up, go back again. I'm going to spend some time playing around with this and see how best to activate and use the Metro UI. But so far, it looks good. It looks very clean, uh, well shaped. Um, and, um, you know, easy to use so far. But um, <clears throat> we'll play around with it more and give you a better look at Windows 8 uh, Developer Build Preview. Uh, I'm sure there's some things we need to do just to get things going. But overall, um, works. it looks very smooth. I, I do like the transition with desktops and the fact that you can actually do a dual screen um, split mode with your regular Windows desktop as well as your live tile Windows desktop. So um, it's it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments, oh, also, just a quick one to note, Bluetooth already has been registered. I have a Bluetooth dongle here. This this unit doesn't come with Bluetooth. Um, just put that back in there. So the dongle is plugged in. During the whole installation process, I found a dongle, um, which is pretty cool. It's, you know, it, it, those Windows 7 attributes actually carried over so it's nice to know uh, nice to see so like I mentioned if you guys have any questions any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter Facebook and YouTube it's all border work with two O's so this is Thunder Yi from border work saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment